everyone. How are y'all tonight? Hello. Hi, Dixie Bell. How's everyone doing? It is Sunday night and you are here with Krista Mulkey and I'm the owner of Texas Gypsy Style. And if you're on, say hi and where you are watching from. Also, if you guys haven't used um, Dixie Bell paint before, let me know. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. Tonight, we're going, hi Kim. Thanks for shouting out. Hey Catherine, hey there. All right, awesome. Um, so we are continuing on painting a Texas Gypsy style buffet. And, oh, we got Tennessee, hey. <laughs> Um, and so we're already painted this Friday night in, uh, Peacock. So we've already got that going and hey, awesome. Rio Grande. Love it. <laughs> yes, I am not flipped the right way. Um, I'm so sorry about that. I'll try to remember to flip it around next time. Hey, Georgia, Faye, awesome. Okay, so we already did Peacock. Um, I did one to two coats on it. I actually didn't do two coats on this, this side, just to kind of show you guys. This is one coat, or I'm sorry, this is two coats on this side. So you can kind of see where I stopped right here-ish. And so here we have two coats. This is one coat. There, I kind of started two coats again. So I'm just, I'm going to um, do my second coat on there. Um, actually, yeah, let me do that real quick. Oh, there's my brush. Let me grab my brush. And I like to use the oval medium, so I'm going to go back and use this, what I was using before. Um, right there. So, um, yeah, I don't want to mess with it, otherwise I would flip it around for you guys. So, I used the same one that I use, I'm using the same one that I used uh, Friday night. And my Mr. Bottle so I'm just going to go over that real quick I don't have real quick I don't have anyone here to help me answer questions so if you guys have questions and I miss them um, just um, hey pets hey Betsy <laughs> Um, so if I miss your questions, um, you know, if anybody else knows the answer, you guys are totally welcome to, uh, chime in and let that person know what's going on if they missed our first session and, uh, what we're working on here. So for those of you just joining in, my name's Krista, Texas Gypsy Style, and I'm a furniture artist and content creator for Dixie Bell Paint Company. And... I um, love to paint this style of buffet, this Jacobean style. Uh, they always have such pretty, chunky legs and carvings, and it's just become one of my faves. And I do a painting technique, and I call it Texas Gypsy style. I have tutorials on that on my YouTube channel, and. Um, you guys can access that through my website, which I have posted on there also. So what we're doing is my first coat, or my first color is my base coat, basically. So um, if you guys missed it, then you can go back on um, 
from Dixie Bell's page. Or, or I posted it on my page. I shared it on my page. You guys are welcome to share this stream, this video right now as we are live. You can share it to your page so you'll have it and you don't lose it. So the water, the mister, we went over the, this a lot last time. It, it's nice because it helps um, smooth the paint through and we don't use so much paint. <laughs> we don't have it all left in the bottom of our jar. Like I always did. I'm new to the mister bottle. <laughs> and I love it. It's awesome. You can spray it on your your brush. And even the paint that I got on there, I'm I can still spread that around with it. So I'm not trying to do like a super filled in look. This is how I do my pieces when I'm painting in my style. Whew, it's hot. Super duper getting hot. I'm in my garage. Ugh. I, I don't, I turn the air off because it's so loud in here, so. I will suffer for you guys. <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs> if I start dripping wet, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not even in Texas. <laughs> I'm born and raised in Texas, but um, my husband's military, so we are stationed in uh, Newport News now. Oh, oh, Betsy, it's cold outside today. It's not even, not even. Jessica's on there. What was our temp today? It was it was sunny out, but it was like cold too. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up my second coat here. And just so I can get a nice bright blue peacock look. Turquoise blue. And, af oh, so after this, we're going to move on to another color. You guys see my colors up here? So, on Friday, I thought that I was going to do my normal color combo, but just in a different order. Well, I don't have much mermaid tail left come to find out. So, you guys are going to get a new color combo today. Which is fine. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I got peony. Um, tree frog and kernel mustard. You guys feel like working with those tonight? Hopefully we can get to all of them. I'm just going to do this right here and then we're going to get on to it. I'm going to get my chip brush out. All right, so as you can see, 
I did not fill it in like all the way. Oop. So you see dark, light, it's all good. Hey, Fran. <laughs> I uh, I like to leave it like that because it kind of gives um, the pieces a shadow and it's it's like a built-in shadow. I kind of use what I have on there. So all the carvings and everything, but just like you barely see that wood showing through. So that's just how I do it. Okay. Um, let me grab my chip brush. Uh -oh. Okay, so here we go. I got a fresh one. <laughs> hey, Aunt Donna. Uh, tell everyone I said hi. Is it, um, is it a happy hour night? <gasps> I love it. Oh, cool. All right. Okay, so what color are we gonna do next? Have we decided? Anybody? I got two new Texas Gypsy pieces and they are the same pine. Oh, good. Oh man, no happy hour. <laughs> all right, here, I'm gonna scooch all in here and let's see. Oh, Kathleen says pink, right off the bat. <laughs> that would be peony. Hi, Jerry. So, sorry, it's reading backwards. Okay, I've got two peonies. Um, I think on this, oh. Uh, I've got 30 minutes. Let me, let me think, let me think, okay. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do peony after, after tree frog, okay? I think it'll work out really good that way. I've done this color combo somewhat before. So let's see how it goes. Let me turn, get y'all in here a little bit better. That way. Y'all can really see what's going on. Okay. So, tree frog. It's um, like an emerald green, basically. So, let me get down, down here. Okay. I'll try to catch y'all. I am gonna do all of them. Miss Anja. <laughs> if it, they're gonna go on. Okay, let's start. Okay, so here's what I do. I just take my chip brush. Like I said, I have um, my YouTube tutorials on this and if you want it to look like I do, then you gotta listen and learn. <laughs> okay, I sound like Cecil, Donna. <laughs> All right, so what I, what I do here is I, I frame it out and that is key to what makes a lot of my pieces look the way they do. It's a very finished and um, um, it's, 
very finished, very textured looking. Um, even though I have a lot going on, I uh, plan it all out, kind of. I mean, for the, you know, for the most part. I know exactly where I'm gonna put everything. I could do a buffet with my eyes closed. Maybe I should do that one day. I kind of feel that way with china cabinets too. I feel like I could do a china cabinet with my eyes well, like blindfolded or something. <laughs> All right, so whenever I'm on here, let me let me just bring down further. It's kind of wide to see everything. I don't know why I'm not getting a good angle there. I hope y'all can see the color contrast at least a little bit. And you know what? I think I do need to switch to peony. Yeah, let me switch. Nah. <laughs> y'all were right. No, Donna, it's, it's, it's not, no, we got, I got to do my peony. Let me do that. <clears throat> All right, so let me, let me move down a little bit here. Because when I'm looking at it, I can already tell, I can already tell what I want to see. Okay. Um, so let me start on this top drawer. Oh my gosh, I'm already gonna start sweating here. Hmm. I'm trying to think if that's what I wanna do. Y'all think that the peony needs to go first? <laughs> that's what everybody keeps saying. Because I am going to be using tree frog and I'd like to use kernel mustard also. So I just, one of the other things that I consider is I want to get each bang for my buck with each color. You know, I don't want them to like blend, blend into each other. Does that make sense? So I want you to see each color for what they are. So, we'll see how it goes. That's just what you got to do sometimes is test it all out. I know y'all are going to see this. Okay, so here's my, here's my framing. And this is what I mean by framing is I'm just outlining like the drawers, all the boxes. Okay, it's not going to be perfect, but I don't want it to be perfect. That's not what I do. Um, but I'm, I'm hitting it with the flat end of my brush <clears throat> and I'm dragging it all down here. So let's capture the whole drawer. So I do it like this. And this is how it all, they all begin. This one has a middle thing going on, so I may not, um, I may have to go around this thing later on in a different way. But see how I'm leaving all that, um, if, Okay, thank you, Haley, for letting me know that. I It's very hard to tell sometimes. Anyway, see how I left my uh, laminate that was kind of messed up and this little corner here, which I'm going to go in and zhuzh it up a little bit more or make it look a little bit better. Um, but for the sake of the painting tutorial, we're going to 
move past that right now and get y'all seeing what all these colors are going to look like together. So I use the flat end of my brush and just drag it. It creates like a distressed look. Um, it kind of already makes it a little bit of a shadow. So yeah, let's see. So if I can go back over here. Okay, let's go back on this guy and frame it out. I don't think I'm drawing that corner yet though. But see, if you do like a different color, you can always go right over it. It's not a big deal. We change our minds all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna go over that right now. I'm gonna wait a minute. On my hinges, we talked about why I paint my hinges um, and all that good stuff. So, here on my hinges, I really try to work with them and around them. So here, let me get y'all in here. Right, right here on the inside where it bends, um, where, or I'm sorry, where it's not bending, so it's where it's fixed. I cut in right there, so I'm taking my chip brush and I, what I do is I um, bring it like to a nice point. I don't want it all fanned out over the place. And I just cut in, um, I hope, I don't know if y'all can see this, right here. And then I just, I mean, I just bring it down. And I, it's little things like that, I think that really bring the pieces together. Uh, just the little attention to details um, that make it what it is. So I do it right there, but also, I'm going to frame, I frame everything. I mean, every single little thing as much as I can. So, see how the door opens right here? I even get, I bring this to a point as much as I can. And I get in here as good as I can. I always... Um, come up under my, oh, heck. there we go, come here, okay, and then, so, I'm going in between here, literally making the frame around this, this piece right here, okay. I know it's kind of hard to see here. And then I come over here and I just make my box. And I start like that. Okay, and then I come can y'all see down there? Oh God, Lord of mercy. Um, so right here on this little ledge, all of these are relatively the same. So I come around here and I'm even gonna kind of like do a frame or a shadow, um, under this little decorative piece, this mold right here. But I'm really working on framing. 
I'm framing around the bottom here so y'all can see right there. You see I made that little box. Y'all are like, oh gosh, she does all that. Ooh. <laughs> I do. And, you know, I've done it so many times that I just know where to go. So here's a little, um, oh, fuck. So here's a little ledge on this leg and let's go down here I can close that okay so you see the door the door is framed except for where the green was okay so come back down be still camera um so up under here i am gonna go like this and circle back around I'm going to frame this little guy right here. And I'm just using like this, the center of the brush. Like, that's it. Like, I'm, I'm just hitting it with the corner. Like, it's not really, I'm not using like the whole brush. But I'm just trying to keep some paint on there right now. And so here, and they're not all going to be the same, but that's why I put out a few videos so you kind of get a good idea. So this is a little square all the way around and I'm going to frame that whole thing all the way around. And then I kind of bring it over here a little bit that way you sort of get um, a little distressed, um, shadowy kind of look. And then I'm gonna just hit these little, pretty little rings right there. And I'm gonna hit the top of this. When I meet, when I say hit, I mean like just barely tapping. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna work on like anything super um like artsy uh, as far as like sh you know major shadowing or anything like that what i'm doing i'm gonna i i frame it all out first and then i go back and and start doing that kind of stuff so um up under here is a ledge and on all my ledges, under my ledges, I do a pretty uh, nice line. And then I'm, on this one, it's got all that pretty stuff, uh, carvings and this little mini ledge. I want to hit that. Since we're down here, I'll just go ahead and get this. Okay, look, here's another ledge up under here. So here I'm going to, I mean, I just do it, you know, I just throw that. It's a shadow, but guys, it's a pink, it's a peony shadow. Okay. Or you can say it's peony dirt. So, um, this is not my third and final color or my fourth and final color. So I can do a more all over kind of look with it. I don't need to go like super sparingly. However, it is peony and it does show up really well. So I'm gonna go kind of light on it just because it, it's not going to take much. You're going to see it. And it's not because it's pink or anything. It's just like if, if I were doing red, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be doing the same thing. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, so I'm really wanting to show you guys like how I 
get going here. And there's a ledge up under here, so I'm just going to drag this so that I catch it and it gets some color on it. Same right here. There's a there's that ledge. Just got to make sure y'all can see. And another ledge, okay? Here, I'm kind of using the flat end of my brush. I want it to drag right here and then I'm kind of bring it up here. Oops. That's not the first time I've done that. Um, <laughs> and so I'm just catching all of these corners, every single one of them. And I just, I'm bringing that up. Okay. So here's, here's a area that some people have, um, a hard time with is this, these, um, little mini, mini carved lines here. So, and especially like when we get over here, these are sometimes hard for people to get, but I do it all with my chip brush and let me bring it up here so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to frame this whole little thing out top and on this side and on this side of this line. I'm not just going on that side. I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do it right there and catch up under here. That's where you're really going to get all your nice shadowing and where it really pops out at you. Okay. Uh, do that. And I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to do like my super best to get all these lines done like so. Okay. And I'm not trying to go and shade and do all the artsy fartsy stuff right now. Um, I just want to get everything framed out. And then I take a step back, look at it, and I'm like, um, it can go, you know, we can do more here. Um, you know, and just really feel the piece out and um, see where I want to go with it. So here there's some little on these um you guys probably worked with these molds before uh so it has a little ledge right there and actually i kind of just dip my brush in there and then come around because it's kind of like a forgotten spot but it can be used and um so we're gonna use it so Let's come over here. Just out of curiosity, do you ever do any different styles or do you always stay in your comfort zone? Oh no, go to my Etsy shop. Uh, go to Etsy and type in Texas Gypsy Style and you will see all the things. <laughs> all of the things. This is just the one that I have the most um, people asking about and um, always looking for different color combos and tutorials on how to do it. So, um, that's what I do for now. Uh, but this is my, this is my baby and I love it. So, um, let's see. So here I, like I said, I'm trying to do my best at getting all these lines with a chip brush. I mean, obviously it's not gonna work, but I am framing all of this out, but I'm, but I'm also creating um, a fun, you know, distressed little look around all that. 
You're welcome, Debbie. So I have to kind of like do it kind of flat and then get it also. Okay. And then I'm coming over here. And so I'm going to take these drawers out also and frame all this out all, all around the drawers. And then I'll frame the drawer itself like I did. Um, let's see where I'm at on time. Just hoping I could get like another color in here, but you know. So y'all got any other questions? I'm right here by the phone camera. So I'm hitting, see how I'm hitting that side right there? And I need to open this up. Okay, on this, a lot of this style furniture has this mold. So, I try to go up under there and I cut into these corners as best as I can, but I like to bring it out a lot so it doesn't, they don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Um, I'm just like narrowing, narrowing it down, like bringing your eye in on like, <laughs> <laughs> multiple levels <laughs> I suppose um, okay look how the green is looking with the pink over here I love it I love it I did a piece and I called it the pinata dresser and Everybody loved it. So this is going to be very similar to that. But, and it was on a, um, like a Hollywood Regency style uh, dresser. So it had, a, it was real boxy and had um, lots of mid-century modern, you know, boxy carvings to it. And I did it with, these colors and more. I'll have a I'm supposed to be working. I'll have a custom order on something like this soon, also, and I'll have a different color combo going. So we'll get to see that also. And it's one that I haven't I haven't done before, so. Okay, so see how I kind of went here and just dragged it up and I just barely hit the back of this chip brush and used those fine little, super fine little hairs on there to create these little, and it's not something that I can like plan exactly. Um, it just, it happens and um, I, li I like it how, it how it works out. So, see there's a ledge here, so I go on that. All right. Up under all of my pieces, I get a good amount of paint. 
and let me show y'all because <laughs> I literally do go from one side um, to the other like up under here so I, all, I usually start here and I go all the way across and I do it with I do it with every color So I'm going to cut in there um, going to hit the outside here a lot of people so it's hard to like for some people to like just let go and let it let it do what it wants um, you know it's very uncertain how it's gonna end up but what but if you do it like this in the grand scheme of things it's going to gel and look like what I do um, even though it's not perfect but that's what what comes with the framing of everything and it's kind of like a a uniform like a standard um, so that's why you see I can get them to kind of look the same ish every time because I I have a method to my madness <laughs> and I talk so later on when we do our other colors I talk about um, like where I imagine like the light coming from and for me I like to do my light coming in from right top to left bottom so that's just me um, you know you you can do it however you want you know but and that's what's nice about this technique is that you can bring in whatever colors you want. A lot of people always ask me if we can do neutral colors. And I'm like, of course you can. You can do um, different shades of whites. You know, like usually I do like three colors and a, and a metallic. So, you know, you could do like three different shades of white or grays. And you don't even have to do a metallic. You know what I mean? So it's just a nice, um, you know, idea as far as having a way to paint something with multiple colors and always kind of knowing, you know, how to go about it. So I like it for a lot of colors because people are scared to paint with a lot of colors. So I paint with one color at a time. I don't break out multiple cans of paint at the same time. This is how I do it every time. So I do, it's layering and um, I do this look though. I can do it on a flat piece of furniture. I can do it on pretty much anything. It's like, it's like always in my pocket, this technique. So the more you watch it, the more you'll see how repetitive I am. And, uh, <laughs> and then you all know, <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> uh, but that's what I like about it. And it never fails me so but yeah I'll have to do it with some neutrals and and on a flat piece of furniture and I'm talking about like a like a flat front dresser or something like that so but like I said if you go to my Etsy shop and look through all of those 
it's overwhelming to see all the pictures of everything like that people do, you know, but, um, it's definitely, um, something once you, you see it and you recognize it, you will, um, begin to understand it. So, um, thank you all so much. <laughs> we, we kind of got real honed in on little details tonight, but that's a huge part of Texas Gypsy style. And um, it's, it's what makes my furniture look the way it does. And um, so if y'all have any questions, um, I appreciate y'all asking the questions if I do anything else besides this. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all can go to my website or whatever. I've got portfolio listed and I do custom orders just like everybody else and I take, you know, I'll do whatever they want, you know, at the end of the day. So, uh, customer always gets what they want. They're the reason why I'm here. <laughs> oh, but thank y'all so much. Thank you, Dixie Bell. And like I said, if y'all have questions, just post them and, uh, we'll see y'all later. I've run out of time. <laughs> uh.